Okay, this is the front of the 1313 Spanish Needle House. I just show you before we head inside. You are on kind of a fairly busy street, but you at least have like a front driveway, which is really nice. And down that direction is kind of a cute little walking trail and pond and an elementary school. So we'll head on in and check it out. All right, so coming right in the front door, kind of off to your left, you have this super cute area that they're using for an office space. And it looks like real hardwood floors actually, so we'll have to confirm that. But then you have a cute little foyer area open to upstairs. This is just storage underneath the stairs for you. So a little coat closet, a good amount of space. Into the main area, this kitchen. And you do have a it looks like a walk in pantry. Yep, you've got a good amount of space in the pantry. Granite countertops, a nice island. Good idea of the space. Some decorative tile backsplash. I don't know if you're into that, but it looks really nice. And it does open up to the living area here. Looks like you have a wood burning fireplace. It looks out to the backyard. And we'll head back to what I believe is the master back here first. So, oh. You have a little nook over here, plenty of space for a desk. Actually a really big master. And for a master bath, you have a walk-in shower, soaking tub. Yeah, sorry, you get to see me. <laughs> the soaking tub, which is really nice. I think, yep, toilet closet is in here. And it should be your walk-in closet. So you do have um, racks all the way up and a shelf at the top. So a good amount of space in here. And let's go check out the other, I think there's another bedroom that's downstairs and then we'll head upstairs really quick. Nice high ceilings in this house too. Kind of a neutral, soft gray paint color. Okay, so you should have a cute little half bath here. Yeah, so just some decoration, but definitely a half bath pedestal sink. And this is your laundry and out to your garage. So you do have quite a bit of space. I've got a small freezer here as well. Let's head upstairs and then we'll check out the backyard. Stairs are nice, no carpet, it's that wood. So at least you don't have to worry about vacuuming stairs, which is kind of, kind of great. You do have this little landing area here. It looks over to the front door. And off to the right, before we check out those bedrooms, you do have kind of a loft space up here that's open to below. And a cute little balcony right off the loft space. over to your backyard. It's super cute if you want like a little uh, patio set out here. It's adorable. Let's check out the bedrooms up here.
first one off the hallway. A really nice little bay window area, some great natural light. And give you an idea of the closets upstairs. So not really a walk-in closet, but you do at least have some depth in each direction. And you have these kind of double doors, which are really nice. Across the hallway. I wish I could find a light in this hall, so bear with me. Here is your full bath up here. So a single sink, but you at least have a good amount of counter space and a shower tub combo. Just kind of a basic tan tile. Again, that same gray paint, like a soft gray color. The whole house is the same color, so just FYI. And then the second bedroom up here. And this is probably a full size bed, but you could fit a queen in here if you wanted. But again, some really great natural light happening. And while we're in here, just to verify, yeah, kind of the same size closet. So not a walk-in, but you do have a good amount of space there. All right, so let's head back downstairs and check out the backyard really quick. All right, so you do have a dog door. I know you've got dogs, so that's kind of nice. Uh, oh, it's super windy today, so bear with me. It might be a little noisy. But you've got this really great covered patio area. The fan out here, which is so nice, especially in the summer. And you've got a ton of space. Looks like they've worked some drainage to go under the fence. That's what the, that is for, to kind of keep your foundation healthy as it rains. And it looks like they might have removed a tree. I'm not sure what that is, so I'll ask about that. Um, it looks like they either removed a tree or filled in something, but I will get answers for you. Even back behind the house, you have all the space. So I'm gonna back up so you can see it from another angle. This is your backyard here. Tons of space back here. And if ever you were in this house for long enough or you decided that you wanted to put a pool in, seriously, there's plenty of space that you could put like a pool here and still have a ton of yard over here or flip flop it either way. But there she is, there's the house. <laughs> 